Hey there, welcome in to another XDP Tech Tips video. I'm your host, Sal, and we're once again alongside our technician, Mike, and today we'll be talking about the Duramax and why it's so important not to look past the crankshaft when it comes time to do maintenance under the hood. So get out your pen and paper, unlock your toolbox. XDP Tech Tips starts right now. We're gonna be talking about pinning the crank in your Duramax, what it does, how it works, and why it's worth doing in your truck. So Mike, what happens if the dowel pin shears and the balancer moves? Well, what happens when the dowel pin actually shears, the harmonic balancer is gonna spin and throw the rest of the uh, assembly out of uh, balance here, which is really gonna cause some serious vibrations and some devastating effects, possibly snapping the crank. How does the XDP dowel pin kit prevent this from happening? Well, by adding the additional dowel pin, you lower the risk of the balancer actually slipping on the crankshaft, being that this dowel pin is a little bit longer, how it's installed, it's gonna be a lot tougher to snap than obviously the factory uh, dowel pin. Well, obviously we don't want anything moving out of place or causing any kind of serious engine damage. So what is included in this kit? The kit actually includes the drilling jig, the cobalt drill bit, the dowel pin, and the bolt to actually secure the jig. Sounds like something that can be done early on as preventative maintenance that'll end up saving you the headache further on down the road. Could you end up with two pins securing the harmonic balancer to the crankshaft? Yes, absolutely. Um, you know, obviously if you're doing this preventatively, you would have the stock pin and the XDP dowel pin, uh, both there to secure that harmonic balancer. Is this something that you would recommend for trucks with performance upgrades? Yes. Um, you know, obviously this balancer could spin on a stock truck, uh, so once you start really adding power and adding the additional stress to the factory pin, you just increase your chances of this balancer actually slipping. Very much so a spend a little now, save a lot later type of situation. So when is the best time to utilize one of these kits? Uh, me personally, I used to like uh, installing this kit when I was doing a water pump job, uh, just for the fact that I'd have to pull the balancer off anyway. So it was a perfect time to inspect everything and obviously add to the kit since everything was open. But you could really do this job in uh, addition to any major work to the front end of the engine. Are there any signs the crankshaft might be in trouble that we can watch out for? Unfortunately, no. In the early stages, the only way to really catch this is visual inspection, which would work, require pulling the harmonic balancer. And for those out there who might be getting ready to take on a project like this, is there any advice that you can give having done this before as a technician? Uh, the only advice I'd really give is that, um, you know, you're going to want to secure the engine properly, uh, set yourself up safely to break that bolt free. It is torqued really high. Um, and same goes for actually installing it. You're gonna to wanna to lubricate that with a little bit of engine oil and torque it properly. Um, you don't wanna cut corners there. You could open up a can of worms later on. But otherwise, it's a fairly simple job and once the jig's on there, it takes all the guesswork out of there for you. So now that we know why this project is worthwhile and how it can save your pockets and your sanity, let's give you a better idea of how to get this done on your truck. For our purposes today, we'll be showing you how to install the kit off the truck. Some tools you'll need to get the job done right include a tape measure, a 12.36 millimeter half inch drive shallow socket, a 22 millimeter socket, a torque wrench capable of 300 foot pounds, 90 degree drill, cutting and drilling lubricant, and a drill guide and bit. Now that we've got our tools together, let's get started. Measure one and three quarter inches on the supplied drill bit and tape this mark. This is the depth to which the crankshaft will be drilled. Remove the factory crankshaft bolt using a 12.36 millimeter socket. Place the drilling fixture onto the damper. Mark the position of the stock key, then clock the fixture 180 degrees from the existing factory key position. Install the supplied bolt hand tight with a ratchet or wrench. Do not over tighten. With a 90 degree drill, carefully drill a one and three quarter inch hole. Stop at the mark. Go slow and use plenty of cutting drilling lubricant. Once drilling is complete, remove the holding fixture and bolt from the damper. Inspect the hole and ensure that it is clear of any debris and shavings from the drilling procedure. Tap or press the supplied dowel pin into the hole. Once the pin is seated, reinstall the factory bolt and torque to 278 pounds. Now that you've got your new dowel pin installed, you can be confident in taking your Duramax to the max no matter what the situation. 
Save yourself the aggravation of serious engine damage or a situation that could leave you out of commission. Make sure your balancer stays put. Get an XDP dial pin kit at xdp.com or contact your local dealer.